be like, yeah, what is this? Like, why is this artist coming to laboratory? But then they actually, she started asking questions that were also interesting to the scientists. So this is maybe the, the nicest mm -hmm. way but, uh, for it's, them. It's true that uh, we want to, uh, to enhance this part, which is a real interaction between scientists and artists. In, at the beginning, okay, we, we organized a, a visit of all the artists to Estec. I put them, I showed them the facility, gave them some lectures. But then they started to think about their project. And we had reviews like we have in the space project. We had the midterm review. <laughs> we had the uh, pre-launch review before we were going to show the, the performance to everybody. And um, now we can say the program is still, in a sense, continuing because uh, after that, um, they uh, performed some of this uh, art piece at Estec, some of them in, uh, also in uh, Rotterdam, at, Rotterdam uh, Arts, at yeah. Tech Art. And um, we will have also something at the Art Festival. But uh, as a follow-up also, they are here, so to learn how to talk with the scientists. But yes. uh, for, for the next program, we try also to involve a bit more the scientists in some of the genesis uh, of the project. Yeah, because this was more like a really, like the really super short overview of those things because there were different uh, projects and there was even more. So I think maybe Ronald is also able to uh, go a bit more deeper with one project. Very, very good. So let's move uh, to the next uh, talk or performance so <laughs> uh, um, on artistic research. So uh, do we have the computer uh, uh, fixed? Because... Uh, your presentation was uh, loaded on the main computer, so if you can try with this one. And uh, there will be some video, and <laughs> all this was loaded and tested yesterday. Um, so the, the talk is on artistic research on freedom in space and science by uh, um, Schelfhout, Fuang, Dominich, Gail Font, and Van der Heide. And uh, okay, the main author is uh, Ronald Schelfhout. Maybe it's nice to switch off the lights a bit because of the images and the... All right, I can adjust it. Yeah, when the Ronald is selected, I have no doubt he's going to manage because he's a very hands-on artist. So he will show some of his work uh, in the frame of the, this uh, art science and space project. Um, I was also attending some of his uh, graduation piece where he, he had uh, for some reason access to the largest exhibition room of the whole Can uh, I, yeah. of which art. program should I yeah. use here yeah. for, the, ah. for the images <laughs> which program should I use for this uh, all the images yes I uh, like this and uh, actually one of his pieces was uh, yes, one of his pieces was just, uh, to take uh, an old car dismounted completely document how he could dismount it and he would display it in a whole uh, uh, gallery. So he likes to do things hands on, and, but they are, very, they are inspired by also by his thoughts and his uh, approach uh, to life. So here, is, uh, yeah, here are his views about artistic freedom on research in space science, Ronald Schelfhout. Uh, yeah. Um. Well, um, we, um, like I was in my last lead year uh, this year that this project started uh, with the artistic uh, approach uh, to get to know uh, all the factors which are, um, yeah, to, to um, yeah, get to know, get to, uh, and then also develop a project. But also I was graduating this year, so uh, at first, uh, I didn't have so much time to uh, really get into it, but then uh, 
I got really fascinated by this uh, idea that uh, there is uh, space, it's surrounding uh, the Earth, it's so uh, unimaginably, unimaginably, uh, so unimaginably big. Um, and the thing is that the, the way that people go there is really uh, in a, a tight uh, can. They uh, are more uh, or less able to move than a prisoner on Earth. Um, so I try to uh, encapsulate these two uh, viewpoints, like the bigness, which is outside of the spacecraft, and uh, the, the, the really um, restriction there is for an astronaut or uh, even maybe a scientist if you start working on a certain project, you cannot really uh, intuitively decide to do suddenly something else. And I think in, uh, in art, and that, that's also why I turned around the, the freedom and the research because I think it's more artistic freedom on research in space and science. Um, so I um, uh, remember that I made for my propodietic exam, I made a round table that was white and it was orbited by a light. And uh, by placing objects on the table, um, you uh, could see uh, suddenly the shadow that the objects created. And uh, for me, that resembled a bit uh, how the mind uh, looks or can turn around a certain problem or an idea. And then uh, behind it, you cannot see anymore what's there. So I decided to, to use this kind of constellation-like setup and try to make a, a certain model of this um, this uh, duality which clings to this uh, exploration of the universe. So I started to add, uh, instead of the objects, I started to add machines on the table and uh, I started to add a screen. And um, well, in a certain way also, there are a lot of discoveries being made in the, um, in, in, in a lots of different fields, like I cannot even try to remember all the stuff I've heard and it's really fascinating but still the way it's being presented is on a screen and uh, of course yeah, that's a bit of this idea of Plato's cave still uh, like we know it's there and also there's obviously stuff landing on earth but we cannot really touch it so and also the machines change so also the projection changes all the time um, well, then I 